We see them everywhere. And if you've ever flipped one over, you know that they're filled with lots of really crazy creatures. Spiders, slugs, worms, oh my. For people that don't explore logs that often, you'll probably recognize this location as the place of your worst nightmares, which I probably should have thought of if I showed you a montage of such demons. Now, this may seem like an ordinary place where these creatures might live. What if I told you there was more underneath that might make you think differently about this habitat? I'm your host, Joe Hernandez, and I'm gonna be showing you the secrets under the log. Our story begins with peaceful truth. The peaceful forest with lots of happy animals. Until you realize that we don't live in the utopian world because things live and then they die. So eventually a force of nature takes place, for example, like a storm or something, and it's on the ground to face its demise. While this may be the death of a giant in the canopy, its new life on the ground has just begun, and the ecosystem gets to work very quickly on a process that is called decomposition. Decomposition happens everywhere, with anything that's dead, from leaf litter on the ground to deer carcasses on the side of the road. Rest in peace, Bambi. God has a future for you, rotting in this ecosystem. It's the process of how things decay and get broken down. But how does it get broken down? There are actually organisms that have that job covered, and they're the most important cleanup crew on the planet. When it comes to these logs, the first responders come in really small. Here, you can see some fungi, along with some bacteria and microbes that are coming in. While these guys may be tiny, they're incredibly important because they take materials like these and break them down even smaller as common organic compounds that are used throughout the ecosystem. Here we can see some plants growing right underneath the log to get all the nutritious soil for their development. By the time the tree is fully decayed, they provide incredibly fertile ground for the rest of the developing forest. Fungi, just like this, can be found decomposing not just wood, but anything it could get its hands on, from your dog's doo-doo to the dinner that you might have forgotten at the back of your refrigerator. If anything sits around long enough, it's bound to be broken down by fungi into materials that they and the rest of the ecosystem use. But not only fungi and plants use this wood, but so do animals. Earthworms, springtails, and wood lice also find this wood very delicious also gives shelter and prevents evaporation, providing moisture for animals that need it, like slugs and snails. While these primary consumers are chowing down, we gotta remember that while there's antelope in the field, there's always lions hiding in the bushes. Even under small logs, there's tons of predators. Salamanders, centipedes, ants, and spiders are all abundant under here, and they feed on the small animals that hang out there as well as taking advantage of the shelter too. As a result, fallen trees are an amazing ecosystem, proving that the death of one could provide life for many. But this happens many other places in the world, even at the bottom of the ocean. Take a look at this dead whale off the coast of California. We can see that not only invertebrates will colonize the flesh of this large animal, but fish and other creatures that may find prey of the scavengers, creating a temporary yet diverse ecosystem. So when things die, we can always count on scavengers and decomposers that may not look the cutest, but they get the job done when it comes to cleaning up the world and helping the cycle of life move on. So when a tree falls in the forest, does it make a sound? We may not hear it, but it's a dinner bell for fungi and creatures that are just looking to tear this thing up and start some new fruitful ground in the forest. I've been Joe the Naturalist, and I'll see you out there.